What's up, modern stutters? We gotta go give the pigs some water in their water cooler. It's the kind of water cooler hanging out talk I'd like to do. Not, not at a nine to five job. And then I'm gonna go plant some purple cabbage and purple broccoli and some hay bales. That's right, purple. Olivia's gonna love it. Let's get to it. I hear the pigs, they're hard to work eating. They're working on their automatic feeder. Get them some water to go with their breakfast. <laughs> we really like having these five gallon water cooler pails. They come in so convenient for moving water. Good morning, girls. How we doing? Doing good? Good. Need some more water? This is definitely one thing you want to make sure. Hey, look, my shorts you're eating. Your animals don't run out on. You want to make sure they always have a fresh a good fresh supply of water. Them are my shorts. Yeah, we're getting you some water. We want to make sure you have plenty to drink. Stay hydrated. And using these five gallon water cooler pails on this 55 gallon drum works awesome when your pigs are out in the woods. I gave you food. Look. Oh, he's dead. Not my shorts. Oh, it would be easier if the girls were eating my shorts. What do you think you're doing? Hey, crazy. I'm going to get some wood chips and put some wood chips out here for you. Yeah. All right, let's go get 10 more gallons for him. shorts they really do enjoy this 55 gallon drum water cooler don't eat my shorts but definitely one thing you want to make sure you always have a good supply of fresh water for your animals now we got to go do the chickens top off their water I would let the pigs out on pasture, but we're going to be leaving for work once we get all the water topped off for all the animals. And when we're not home, I don't like to leave them out here. You, pro you can, I'm sure it'd be fine, but me just being me, I'd rather know they're safe and sound inside the pen while I'm working. Look at the Icelandic chickens just hanging out. You like your roost and pole way up high? We only have four birds in this tractor, so we don't want to fill up this five gallon pail completely because then the water will just get stagnant and nasty. But we want to make sure they have enough. Good morning, Roo. 
little fish. That should be good. Let's go give the rest to the bod rock pullets that we have in the tractor. The top there's off and use up the rest of the water. Once we finish up with this, we gotta head off for work for the day. When we come back, the plan is to plant our broccoli and Brussels sprouts inside some hay bales. Keeping an eye on them, Pluto. How they doing? I look pretty happy. They seem to be enjoying New York City on greener pasture. Don't worry, Mr. Biggs, we hear you. We know you're there. It's funny because the Icelandic chickens still stay separated from the Bardrock flock. You already over there, Pluto? All right, now that we're back, Modern status, let's go and let the pigs out to green the pasture. You guys getting nice and dirty. I bet you were, with all that mud. You know, watch out so I can get the door open. Come on. They're off. What are you doing? All right, let's get the tractor going and we're gonna go grab some hay bales. Almost completely composted, so we gotta move it gently and get it to work. I'm hoping they stay together as I pick them up. Wow, look at them worms. Those are looking nice. Look at all those worms. Whew. Big worm there, some more over there, another one there, another one over there. Yep, this should be good. As long as these bales stay together, we'll be in good shape. This is just an unutilized edge of the lawn that we had the pigs in last year and we haven't had a chance to clean it up. So we're gonna stick the hay bales over here and see if we can get some broccoli and cabbage growing in it. It's growing grass. Why wouldn't it grow broccoli or cabbage? One of the reasons I picked this area is because it's a little bit cooler. It gets good sun, not complete sun, but it's in shade and cabbage and broccoli and Brussels sprouts, they don't like the heat of the summer. They're not gonna grow for you, the broccoli's gonna wanna bolt, and if it does grow, it doesn't have a nice tight head. I think this one we're gonna have to plant this way. Oh, look at that. There's worms right inside that hay bale. Let's see if he's still there. See that guy right there. Look at that. Awesome. So these hay bales, for all you new subscribers, these hay bales come from our winter chicken coop. They were in the chicken coop, and the chickens climbed on them and pooped on them all winter long. They've been sitting outside in the rain, getting inoculated with chicken poo and composting, and just turning into an awesome medium to grow some of our vegetables in. Ah, oh, this one we gotta leave like that too. That's alright. 
Well, and these are so squished, we're gonna have to lay them all like this. These ones will lay on end. We'll see which ones work the best. I mean, how can you complain about this style of gardening? It's like free medium. We're not buying it. It's loaded with organic chicken poo. It's just gonna be great. Now, we gotta go get the broccoli and Brussels sprouts. There's some pretty cool things going on in the garden, but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow's Martin Homesteader update. So you're gonna have to come back tomorrow to see that. But let's go get our broccoli and Brussels sprout. I don't think I've really showed these. We've had these growing inside now for a while in soil blocks. They're ready to get outside. I just needed a place to plant them. Look at the chicks, they're doing good. We won't give you too much info on those. We'll save that for tomorrow's update. Oh, those look pretty. Watch out, dog. The planting don't get much easier than this. This is just loaded. So it looks like over here we got purple cabbage on the side. I don't know where it, the sides begin and end. And over here we got some summer purple broccoli. So somewhere in here is one or the other. We're just gonna plant them and it'll be a surprise. All right, let's just get some of these out. Look at them. They're rooted up so nicely. We love our soil blocks. I'll leave a link in the description below for the soil block maker we use. We've just had really good luck with it this year. Look at those. Look at that. The planting in this stuff is just so easy. All you do is you're just going to open up. And that's it. I'm gonna kind of stagger them a little bit. That's all there is to it. It's gonna be interesting to see how these all do. Be easier just to bring the whole thing right over. So that last bale, we planted eight. The rest of these bales. We're gonna plant six. That's what we have enough plants to do. Some of these plants, eh, that one's a little rough, but it, I bet you it'll make it. And if it doesn't, then it wasn't a good plant anyways. I bet you these things are gonna grow awesome. Got our helper. She's over here assisting. Right, Pluto? Huh? You helping? Yep. I knew it. You were helping. Come here. There we go. That's what I needed. I needed a good little, needed to give you a good little head scratch. Just been experimenting with so many different ways of growing in different places. And it's kind of like we're just trying to plant in every crook and crevice we can. And with what we have, let's see what we can get growing. Oh, there's a worm right there. Perfect spot to plant that plant. I'm just having so much fun this year planting different plants in so many different ways and just experimenting. It's going to be fun to come. It's going to be fun come this harvest season just to see what grew, what did good, what didn't do good, and how much effort we had into some of this stuff. Like these hay bales, there's no effort here. We're just growing an extra space we have around the yard. A lot of these seeds, I have bought very few seeds this year. Some of the seeds I've been using are heirloom seeds from Baker Creek heirloom seeds that are over five years old. 
these seeds right here were seeds I had given to me by my brother who had him given which they were given to him by a friend because they were expired last year seeds so and look how good the plants are doing expired seeds no such thing The ones that are older and they actually germinate, those are the best seeds you can have because you know they're a good, strong plant. All right, last bale. I don't think I'm gonna water these in. Most of the plants that we've started, we haven't done any watering in this year. So I don't see why I should change it now. The soil blocks themselves are a little dry, but I think they'll be good. I don't know, leave it down in the comments below and let me know what you think. Should we put some water on these hay bales? I hope these things take off. This will be our fall crop. I mean, look, it's got grass growing in it from seed. These plants are gonna take off and do great, I bet you. They got the soil from the soil blocks, then they got everything that's in. The hay bales, they're breaking down, decomposing, and turn into compost. They got the chicken manure, there's worms already in there. This should be good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited to see how this crop of cabbage and broccoli does for us this year. This was just in such an easy way to plant, keep our fingers crossed, but everything else we've grown this way is taken off. We showed you the zucchini, the winter squash and everything over there, and we'll be giving you a better update of all the gardens and everything that's going on, the modern homestead, in tomorrow's video. So don't miss out on that, and today was just so much fun. I just had a blast doing this. This was easy, simple. And look at all the food we're growing. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you share it. It's really helping our channel grow. And I wanted to thank you for that. I wanted to say hi to all the new modern steaders. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're posting over there once a day too. Just photos of what's going on. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. You guys say bye?